Hey Stan Phoenix here. So I'm going to talk about a story time thing from my past and that is when I actually ended up getting my earlobes cut off, sewn up and actually put my earlobes on my tongue as you will see later in a photo in this video. So now you may be wondering like what the hell? Why would you do that? That's not something normal to do. Are you sadistic? Are you into pain? Like what was going on? So I'm going to give you a back story with this and show you a lot of photos so you can see what my earlobes used to look like. So as you can see in this photo, I managed to stretch my earlobe up to 58 millimeters. So it was pretty damn big and this took took me years and years and years. And the reason why I did this was because I loved body modifications. And yeah, I just put in all the hard work to make this happen. And you just slowly, what you do, as I did, is just start increasing the size of the earplug or put some specific surgical tape around it and just keep going up and up and up. It's a slow and steady progress and you've got to do it right, otherwise you can end up splitting your ear. And then if you look at my other side, it's not as big because this was really slow to stretch it up in comparison to the other ear. This was 55 millimeters meters and the 58 millimeter was the biggest that I ever got them up to and there's a photo of me being crazy as you can see <laughs> with multiple different piercings and both of those stretched earlobes and wow this is a blast from the past photo this is me at my dad's wedding I've got them pretty well stretched there so I just kept trying to push it further and further and further because that's what I love to do it was just so much into body modifications and it got to a point where I just didn't want them to be as big anymore and I didn't feel a desire for them so that's when I just took them out and as you can see I've got really really saggy earlobes and over time they just started to shrink and get smaller and smaller but because I stretch them so big they weren't gonna go back to ordinary non-stretched earlobes and I didn't mind them looking like this at all so I just left them out for ages and then I got to a certain point where I was like okay actually I want to stretch them back up so then I started stretching them again as you can see in the left ear there's a smaller black one so they shrunk significantly and then in the other ear that was the bigger ear I had that purple flesh tunnel in with this absolute crazy hair I'm gonna do a separate video soon talking about all the crazy hairstyles and hair dye colors that I use Used to have and in this photo I have a big flesh plug in so yeah I just kept going up and up and up again and I was like yeah I'm really liking doing this again so that's what I'm going to continue to do but then what naturally happened was I didn't want to do it anymore I couldn't bother pursuing it it's a lot of hard work to keep doing it and I just started pursuing a really natural more healthy lifestyle and stop taking certain things that you take when you're at a party and you want to get wasted and so on so I ended up wanting to get them completely redone what I mean by that is I wanted to get them surgically modified and stitched back up together so then they could heal and actually look like normal earlobes as you can see look pretty normal now I'll show you a close-up in a short while so I went to one of the best body modification artists in UK in Brighton and I went there and he injected different types of lidocaine and other anesthesia within my ear and then once it had kicked in fully I laid down and he got a scalpel and just cut away my earlobe cut off pieces of my earlobe and then started to take certain pieces off to reshape it so when it's sewed together it would look like a normal earlobe and it was not painful at all I felt a lot of tugging there's no issues whatsoever and this was the final result straight away afterwards as you can see it's all sewn up quite a bit messy in that but he did a really good job but I'm telling you once the anesthesia wore off oh my god for about a week I was in so much pain with my earlobes I had to sleep upright like not stand upright and sleep upright obviously but I'd have to be with a pillow behind me sleeping up like this and it was the most excruciating pain that I've pretty much ever been in my life the most throbbing intense intense pain that was just consistent but I just had to endure it and it's one of those things where it's like pain doesn't last forever and it went and then it continued to heal and get a lot better and this photo shocked a lot of people when I put it up on Facebook many years ago after I had this surgery done on my ears so as you can see the earlobes are in my mouth yes it is my earlobes it's not a joke whatsoever and I said to a lot of people yeah I actually consumed them but I was just messing around and having a joke people were like seriously did you do that I was like no 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 I thought yeah they've been removed when am I going to get the opportunity to do this again and I'm always a person always have been should I say in my life where I like to be shocking and do crazy things so yeah that's what I did and yeah I do a quick zoom in as you can see my earlobes I don't have any massive scarring here in any way shape or form or on this side when I say to a lot of people that I used to have massive stretched earlobes 
And then he'd look at me and I was like, huh? Can't even tell that you ever had that done. But the thing is I went to someone that knew what they were doing. If you go to someone when you've got stretched ears and you want to get them surgically removed and so you can have normal earlobes again, if you go to someone that doesn't know what they're doing, they could do a really bad job. So there's some people that have it done and it just looks absolutely crappy. But I searched out someone that really knew what they're doing, paid a lot of money for it, and then I got amazing results once they'd healed and gone back to normal. So do I regret doing this? Stretching it all and then paying all that money to get it done? Not whatsoever. I don't regret anything in my human experience. You can't change the past, so it's just like accepting the past. I'm glad that I went through it. It was a really brilliant experience. I loved them whilst I had them. But then it got to a point where I just got to a point within myself that I didn't want them anymore. So would I advise people out there to not get them done? Well, I would say that you should really think about what you're doing. Don't go absolutely crazy with it if you don't think you really want it for the rest of your life. But if you feel that you do, then go for it. You might change later in life because we're not static. Human beings are always changing. So yeah, it's not gonna be the end of the world if you decide you don't want it one day. As long as you can save up enough money and find someone to remove your stretched earlobes and put them back to normal, then that is all good. But I'm glad that I never went down the route of getting a lot of the other hardcore body modifications that I wanted that were way more hardcore than my earlobes getting done because some of those well you wouldn't necessarily be able to correct them so easily like i was able to with my earlobes so that's it from me and this story time if you have any questions to do with anything on the topic of this video then let me know down below and i will get back to your questions as soon as possible if you like the video like it down below give us a thumbs up don't forget to share and subscribe to receive a lot more videos from me on a regular basis so as always stay happy stay healthy and enjoy the rest of your your day. Peace.